Hey, what's up? It's Who the F is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur, coming to you all the way from Monroe, Michigan. I drove about an hour from home because they do something very unique down here in Monroe. It dates back to like the 1700s. Some of the people in charge of the Catholic Church made a decree that they can have muskrat during Lent. Now that tradition has continued to go on and they actually have muskrat dinners during Lent. So I'm here to try muskrat and see what does it taste like. Here inside the gun club now, uh, waited in line. I have my dish of muskrat, beaver. I got some corn and some mashed potatoes here. So you can see right here, this is muskrat. Here's the smaller pieces. So this is cooked like fried. Um, they boil them, then they fry it. And then this is cooked another way. And then this is beaver in the cup. This is beaver with the corn. Talking to the guys back in the kitchen. Uh, these guys have been doing this for years. A lot of them have been doing this uh, with their families. Like their dads were involved in these dinners. And it all goes back to like the early 1700s when the French trappers were in this area of Michigan and there wasn't a lot of food to eat. So it was all swamps and marshes. So there wasn't deer, there wasn't any like big game to hunt. Muskrat and whatever they could, they could find to eat. Muskrat and beaver was like the main source of food. So it smells great. It smells surprisingly great. It looks scary. Like, I'm, just, I'm scared. I'm, I'm a... I'm a Kroger guy when it comes to meat and stuff, so I, it comes in a package and it's already ground up, so uh, this is going to be an experience for me. All right, so here is a piece. It smells fantastic. I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, some people say it's fantastic. They love how it tastes. Uh, some people say it's gamey. They don't care for it. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm about to take a bite of muskrat right here. Here we go. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of like a yeah, like an Asian style beef. I'm trying to find where the bone is so I don't bite into the bone. But it is quite good. It's very tender. I'd say it almost reminds me of like a cross between beef and chicken. <laughs> So far, so good. Believe it or not. Reminds me of eating chicken wings. But with a different, little bit of a different texture. Again, talking with the guys in the back. Um, all the muskrat has been <clears throat> trapped locally by a trapper. And then they, so that's how they source all the muskrat. Which, I guess we got lots of muskrats. Because there's lots of people here and there's lots of people chowing down. So here's a bite of uh, the muskrat that's prepared kind of fried so here you can actually see yes muskrat they have to remove a couple glands i think they said there's like a gland behind the back and a, a gland somewhere i don't know maybe it's in the butt i'm not sure if it's like like a dog when you gotta, you gotta get the gland squeezed out but this guy used to be a muskrat he used to swim around in the water now it's gonna be in my belly so take a bite it's got a little bit of bone there. It's got a bite. This has almost like a, it's like a hint of sweetness to it. I don't know if it's um, herbs that they use to season it, but it's actually really good. It reminds me of a eating chicken wings, but instead of the chicken, it's not beef. The flavor, I would say, it's not bad at all. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of like a pot roast. It is very tender. It is quite tasty. I've never thought in my life I'd enjoy the taste of muskrat. No, I've never had it, but I wonder how similar this is to squirrel. Let's see, pull a little piece off. There we go. This might be a little bit of skin. Let's see. Muskrat skin, just as good as chicken skin. Not bad at all. I think it's, this is probably a tail. It's not a wiener, I hope. I mean, if, if it is, the rock and some huge packages. Now, some of the bites I'm getting here off this one. I think it has a, a bit more of a gamier flavor. But it reminds me so much 
It was like an Asian beef dish. You like that mustard? Yeah, it's actually good. My first time having it, so. Definitely a unique flavor. I can't really put my tongue on what it is, but it reminds me of some Asian beef dishes. I am impressed. Now let's move on to a cup of beaver. Yeah, cup of noodle. How about a cup of beaver? And this, they like, they prepare it similar to the muskrat, but it's like they cook with some onions and corn. And I guess uh, from what I understand, the beaver is supposed to be more of a like a sweeter flavored meat, so they like to cook it with like sweet corn. So here we go. You see the steam coming out of the cup. Beaver, here we come. Beaver's pretty good too. This is excellent. A compliments to the chef. I think that might be a potato. Now, what I would say with muskrat, it's good. It's Probably not my favorite type of meat to eat, but for being muskrat, I'm surprised at how flavorful and tender and actually good it is. Now, this isn't something I'm begging, you know, to have for my birthday dinner, but if it's Lent time and you're very religious and you, you don't want the fish, hey, take the loophole, take the muskrat loophole. You get a lot of the same textures and flavors that I would if I was eating like a piece of beef. I feel like the closest way I can describe it is chicken wings, but instead of chicken on it, you got beef on those bones. It's definitely a crazy experience. I'm so happy I came out here and tried it. Never in my life did I ever think I would enjoy eating muskrat. Like even the name muskrat, like it just sounds, it sounds a little bad. The people here definitely know what they're doing. The muskrat's good, it's tender, it's not dry. I mean, there's definitely like a unique flavor to it. But I say, if you've ever been curious about trying muskrat, don't be curious, just go try it. So that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know. Is there like a weird food or something that you think is strange, out of the ordinary, that I should try? Let me know down below in the comments. But until next time, sayonara, suckers! <laughs>